My name is Lone and welcome to episode number 12 of Zero to Hero. So in this video I will be grinding out the 1000 reward points in the Slayer shop to be able to buy the Use More Heads Slayer Helmet and any boss assignments that I will get I will definitely do and add to my kill count counter. And I just want to say if this is the first episode you're watching in this series a playlist link will be at the top of the description where you can watch from episode 1 all the way up to this so you will be caught up on all my progress. So hope you guys will enjoy the episode and if you do please leave a like but do that when you actually feel like you enjoyed it. Actually not a single brimstone key from that gargoyle task but uh, 124 cal fights is a very good task now that I have a cannon that I'm actually using. So while I'm doing all these slayer tasks I will just uh, keep a stack of the brimstone keys that I get in my inventory here and I actually got two from that cal fight task pretty good as they're pretty low level. Let's get another assignment. Hydras! I'm actually going to do the uh, alchemical hydra on this. Maybe not for all the kills, but definitely a couple of them. Actually, the first ring piece in 298 KC. I'm probably going to do like 30 kills or something, but uh, that is a very nice job. It's uh, pretty much 5 mil if you get all three of them. So I actually finished the task on a couple of more kills on the boss. So uh, this is my total loot that I went for. I actually did some kills on my phone as well, but uh, 113 normal hydras and 37 boss hydras. Got no more extra loot, but 5 mil there and 1.5 mil from the normal ones. Nice and a big point boost incoming when this uh, wyvern dies. 90 points and now the task is done. Always nice to get skeletal wyverns. They are always such a small amount of monsters for uh, easy points. 667 points currently. Aviancis, uh, I'm going to do Kriara on that task and I have some ecumenical keys in the bank so let's do quite a few of them actually. Pretty much halfway through the task and I hit 100 Kriara KC. All of them are solo and I feel like I've really got this down now. With the current gear setup I'm using I am doing like 10 kills every single trip and that is without a uh, Elysian spirit shield. Oh my god, that's the first time I've ever seen that. That is a drop from a minion. Look at the chat. I got dwarf weed seeds from the boss and then armadillo helmet from the minion. That is a 1 in 16,000 drop rate. It's only 5 mil though, but that is amazing to see. So I'm pretty much done with the task. I have 9 KC left, so I'm going to teleport out and do that on a normal Aviancis. But look at that. Flight Kilisa, the armadillo helmet. Not from Kriara herself. But the minion, super awesome. I mean, it is not worth a lot, it's 50k. It would have been nice to have on the Twisted League, but uh, 50k, Dragon Longsword, very rare. So I actually got another Longbone, and I have quite a few of them in my bank, and at the later stages of this video, I will hand all of them in and start a construction grind for the Song of the Elves quest. This is a boss I have barely done. I have 10kc, I think, so King Black Dragon, let's double that and do 10 more kill count. The drops from this boss is very bad, so I'm not going to do too many. So I actually have 12 KC, so I have 22 now, and the loot is, let's see on the right side, very bad, 144k. Only 9 got tracked though for some reason. Another milestone slayer task here, I'm actually rushing through these slayer assignments like crazy. 530 tasks done for now 829 total points, getting closer to 1k. I picked up another bossing task, so let's uh, check here, 35 sire. Let's even get an unsired. I mean, I do not miss doing this boss. Uh, no unsired. We ended at 361 KC. Boss is uh, as annoying as always. And 1.8 mil is actually not too bad. Another one of these super rare drops, Dragon Throne Axe, but uh, again, very low value. 56k for that drop, but it's always nice to get some variation in the drops. Man, I'm seriously raking in the low value drops. Dust Battle Staff, almost 40k from a superior, and I'm actually out 29 Brimstone Keys right now, so getting to open a lot of those in the end. Not about to gain a combat level, but that is 93 defense, one more level I think, yep, to get 120 combat. Right, I have to say, this is the most insane task I've ever done. Six brimstone keys from Warped Jellies. Are you kidding me? That is just crazy luck. So I have done so much Slayer in this video that I am about to get another Slayer level and uh, I mean it is nice to slowly creep towards that 99 Slayer as it is one of the slower skills in the game 
And here we go, 96 Slayer, three more levels to go until that is 99. 167 Black Demons is my last assignment for the video, that will bring me just about 1k points so we can buy the helmet. I actually got a Dragon Spear on this task, it's been a while since I saw one of those. Over 1k points now, 1021, so let's go and get that recolored Slayer helmet. I'm going to go with the Alchemical Hydra one, so let's uh, go all the way down here and unlock it. There we have it, confirm. 1,000 points spent, and now I guess I just use the heads on the helmet. Yes, this is going to be so nice. Oh my god, it looks so good. I love this cosmetic so much. It is... Oh, I need to find an outfit for this. I don't even know what it would go with. I can just imagine Bandos being cool. And, of course, our 41 brimstone keys that we got from this. Let's see what uh, the loot is going to be from all of these. Last key. Let's get it open. I think the loot was uh, a bit lower than I expected actually. Yeah, it's less than 100k per key. Last time I did it, I got like 130k per key, so I think I was slightly unlucky with this opening, but still extra 4 mil. So as I said, I will be handing in all the long bones and curved bones that I have for a construction experience to start a grind. I'm 43 currently, and this is all the bones that I have. 54,000 construction. I ended at level 50, so I actually got 7 construction levels for free from that. Very nice to pick up those bones. Second step is to sell this loot tab of almost 21 million to get some money for mahogany planks so I can power level my construction. I didn't spend all the money, spent pretty much half of it, 11 million on 5,000 mahogany planks, and let's see if this is going to be enough for 70 construction. First milestone level, 60 construction, pretty sweet. I uh, need 10 more levels for the Song of the Elves quest, so even if I might have planks over at 70, which I think I probably will, I will end at 70 because that is also, I think, the revitalization pool. And I will fix my house also at 70 construction slightly. So this is it. I do definitely have planks left in the bank. I think roughly 500, but that is 70 construction. So with the money and everything that I had, I could afford that. And also revitalization pool. Revitalization pool. I seriously have no idea how to pronounce that. Regardless of not being the best pool in the game, I'm going to build it. Because you still need to have it to upgrade it further in the future when I get my levels up. So now I get run energy and I guess a special attack ability as well. And I also made a portal room, which is pretty sweet. Fixed it up just a bit. Uh, I can't actually make any useful portals right now. I have to unlock some stuff. But I also made an altar that I can build whenever I want to. I mean... I need 5 construction levels higher for the Gilded Altar, so I'm probably just going to wait for that. In my last video, I took on the Moss Giant boss just to see what it was and get some kill counts on it to have it uh, ticked off my bossing list. So I'm going to do the same with Ober now, the Hill Giant boss. So I'm going to use 2.5k cannons and see how many keys we can get. But look at that, first key came pretty fast, so at least we are going to do one kill. That is a pretty promising sign. Something I didn't even think about is that uh, the cannonballs can pretty much one-hit the hill giants all the way over here. And because of that, some keys actually spawn all the way over here. And uh, same as uh, long bones, I actually got two of them, but I picked none of them up. As well as I got more than four keys, but I just missed them because they were too far away. I had my camera too zoomed in. But at least we got four keys, and I will show you guys how many keys I actually missed. I missed four. So I could have had 8 keys, which is, uh, yeah, unfortunate, but uh, I don't really care that much anyways, because this boss is nothing I want to grind out anyways, I just want to get it off my list of bosses I've killed. I actually haven't even looked up a guide for this, but I'm going to expect it not to be that much to know before I can uh, fight this boss, so let's uh, have piety on run in and uh, maybe I can even spec it out instantly. Oh no, I have to climb down these rocks every single time. That's going to be a hassle with uh, all the four keys. So let's see. Let's uh, spec it. Half HP in one spec. Actually got stunned. Okay, well he's just dead. First loot is going to be death runes. Second loot is going to be rune battle axe. That's probably one of the better items. Rune items are probably the better ones I think you can get from this boss. Second to last item we will get will be Law Runes. So the last Obor drop is uh, another giant key, so I guess we do another one. Imagine being like super super lucky and getting new keys like 50 times in a row. I mean it's pretty much as rare as getting 3rd age, probably even more rare, but it would be pretty funny if you just endlessly got new keys. Uh, but there we go, that is probably the last kill that we will do. Rune Kai Shield, very mediocre drops of course, and the total loot from 5 kills, just below 100k.
The skills I'm still lacking for Song of the Elves is 70 farming, which is going to be a real bummer as I'm 45 only, and then 70 hunter, which I can probably grind up pretty quickly from 60, 70 mining, also fairly quick but with uh, probably doing blast mine, and then 70 smithing is really just money, and I don't actually have that much money right now. I have a cash of 11 million, or a cash pile of 11 million. And I can maybe sell some stuff, but I'm not sure if 11 mil is enough for 70 smithing. It might be, but I'm probably going to do some Solra for some extra money, and then in the next episode just blast out 70 smithing to have that done. But for now, this is going to be it for this video. But first, before I do the outro, let's have a look at the boss slides. So on the first slide, what we increased was from, I think, 84 to 114 Kriara, as well as adding some KC to King Black Dragon, now having 22. Still sitting at a pretty low kill count, but we still have Corporal Beast, Vorkath, the Nightmare, and Callisto, and the Giant Mole on this tab. Now for the second, we did a tick off Obor with a 5 kill count now all the way from 0 and we also added 35 kill count to the Sire ending at 361 and we also added a good amount, I can't remember the exact, but I do believe from 274 to 311 on the Alchemical Hydra. And on this slide we're still missing Scorpia, Solcano, Suck, the Theater of Blood and Chambers of Seric. So standing here ready to do Solra, which is going to be the beginning of my next video. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode thoroughly and I will see you in the next one guys. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you want to see my future videos. And have a good one guys, take care.